When Microsoft unveiled the Kinect in June of 2009, it was billed as a way for players to interact with games in a whole new way with their entire bodies. Since its release in November, users have discovered a slew of new uses. Developers created open source drivers allowing the Kinect to interact with regular computers, meaning other applications running on platforms like Windows could be written for the Kinect. Various developers have taken the device and built on its framework to do all sorts of things Microsoft never intended. Oliver Kralos was one of the first to find a new use for the Kinect when he posted a video on YouTube showing how he had configured the device to capture 3D video. Even though the Kinect was kept in one place, Kralos was able to tilt and pan a virtual camera around the room. The Kinect sensors were able to construct parts of the image the main camera couldn't see, leaving empty space and shadows on the spots it could not detect. Kralos found a simple solution to construct even more of the image. He used two Kinects to cover the entire room and merge their data together. There were still some gaps in the image, but it's easy to imagine how one or two more Kinects could recreate a perfect 3D image or video of the room. YouTube user Yankian has posted a few videos of different programs he has built for the Kinect, including turning a regular piece of wood into a lightsaber. But this one is amazing. He reconfigured it to use it for its original purpose, playing video games. And now, the motions he makes with his body is how he controls Mario in the original Nintendo Super Mario Brothers. Runs and jumps are both controlled via the Kinect. No word yet on if he has to shoot fire out of his mouth for the fireballs. Remember the way Tom Cruise controlled video clips in Minority Report? That's pretty close to what a team at MIT has been able to do with Google's Chrome browser and the Kinect. CNN's Ali Velshi spoke to two members of the team last week, and they say this is just the latest development in controlling computers with motion. We're building on top of a long tradition of gesture research that have been done in places like the Media Lab and thinking about more natural ways to interact with computers. This is just one example now with a consumer device easily available at Best Buy, where we can make any sort of web page be able to interact with it using these kinds of gestures that we recognize. There have also been virtual puppets, musical instruments, and holographic users inserting themselves into 3D computer-generated rooms. Now, it's obvious most of these are still in the early stages and not perfect or intended for any end user, but it's not hard to imagine Microsoft developing some type of computer, TV, or phone that utilizes the Kinect's architecture and framework to control the entire interface. Mm -hmm.